Hello everyone, Ben Pop here and welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign in Total War Attila. Um, we're looking at Salona and we have our main army here, the Seekers of Glory. Haven't changed their name because that's, that's pretty good, you know, we seek glory. And we're gonna attack Salona. It's gonna have to happen next turn because we have made our move. And I um, wanna show you guys a couple of things. For example, in... Because this, this has been bugging me. So the city is a Roman city, which, you know, is not... Uh, doesn't give me all the benefits and all that stuff, so I have to convert it. Um, in previous games, you had the option to, um, like, demolish that specific city and rebuild it into your own. But that's not here in Total War Attila. There's... There's convert or abandon settlement. Um, well, if you abandon settlement, you have to have a ton of money to take it to like re colonize it because it becomes one of these. This is a abandoned, desolate place, right? That's what it says. It says. Uh, public order across your faction will be adversely affected by. The resulting desolation. So you're pretty much... You have to toss your place away. Anyway. So it's really expensive to convert. If you look at the convert price here. 9,900 to convert it to a burg. And I don't like the way they did that. Because if you were to... Let's say look at... Uh, oops. That's any settlement city. So if you have a ruined city and then build a burg. It costs 3,000. And it's just really unfair that they decided to make the conversion cost that much, 9,900. And the fact that the actual, hey, let's just tear down the walls and build new ones with our style is not available. Uh, which is kind of what conver converting is. It's just, I mean, you kind of probably use some of the rock was there anyway, but just change its style. I don't know how they used to do it, but I'm guessing. So anyway, I'm I'm stuck not converting my towns for a while because of that price. And uh, also, if you haven't seen, like, taking, sending your army to take a desolate place costs a ton of money. And people from your army, like soldiers from your army, have to settle there. Um, so it's a huge step. You can't just, you know, go and grab all this empty land. So, kind of disappointed. This obviously it makes for the campaign to have a higher level of difficulty, and it also makes progression slower. Uh, is it still fun? Yeah, it's fun, but you know, maybe it's just us. Maybe it's just us, the consumer. We just don't like seeing some changes that that make our uh, make or change our game in a way that we weren't expecting. Like, I wasn't expecting to have to pay that much money to convert the first town I, I captured. You know, and there's no way around it. Like, you can't just be like, you know, let's just take it down, keep the other buildings now, because if you abandon it, it becomes desolate, and then you need more money to <laughs> take it back. So, um... Yeah, kind of lame there. I was hoping those guys would sit there so they help me against the rebels, but they... Oh, that's somebody else, that was somebody else. These guys may still help me against the rebels. Um, so yeah, I mean, let me check. How much was the money that they, g they gave you back? It generates 2,500, so that's that's nothing. That's Like, if, if it gave you 20,000 to desolated place, uh, then maybe you can take it back, but, <coughs> excuse me, but this way, there's just, there's just no, no way, uh, so again, I can't, I can't go in here, um, so, I should have waited and maybe hit the raid button, darn it, and the stupid computer might attack it before I do, they have an onager. That's bad. Ready for 
Uh, but I can build, um, I'm not sure if this is going to help me much, but it's going to allow, um, I can build medium siege engines because I have this foreign siege methods. So I'm pretty excited to give that a try. Uh, let's see what we can do this turn. Public order is going up. Um, gonna have to build on this. Probably gonna go with... We're gonna go with the wood carver because that will get me bows and onagers. Uh, the smithy is nice. Monte brigands. Um, just a second, just a second. What's the um, industry artisan smith guild? Right, smithy. Okay, the Mounted Brigands is the only one that's gonna come out of there. I thought there's probably more... Uh, more horses. Or more things. So this will give me large Onager and regular Onager. Plus Germanic, Germanic Hunters. And I like that some of the... I'm just gonna take a, a side turn here. Uh, some of the technologies will replace certain units and upgrade them so like you know gothic pikemen replaced the gothic levy and so did the spearmen replaced replaced the regular spear levy germanic levy so you don't necessarily have to like build certain buildings to a different level to get um to get your units okay so this fishing Yetis are of my own style, right? Yeah, it doesn't have this. Cool, so I'm getting food from there. Very nice. I think that's all I get to do, unless I have something here. Uh, these guys are all assigned. I, I don't want to... Recruit a new army. Um, I wonder if all these guys are married. Well, they need influence. I think maybe this guy would eventually not be. Let's see. He's already married. He's already married. He's already married. And. I can't even check if there's if they're married. So diplomacy wide, can I do anything diplomacy wise? The Huns are attacking over there. I'm deteriorating relations with them. Probably because they had raided me and uh, you know, I mean, personally I don't care. But the game the game cares and it's gonna be like, oh no, they did something bad. I um, can't trade with anyone else. Okay. So let's just get this land and then see what other land we can grab. Uh, that's not too far away. Because last time the Visigoths grabbed Corinthus from under my nose. Uh, you are the faction leader. You can probably get some some camp commander uh, integrity minus the corruption. I could get more food and ammunition. Uh, I don't need naval things. Probably not going to do much sacking and looting, although I could. Maybe if I go far away from my from my homeland. Construction cost in governed provinces. I don't really need that. Fatigue raises the commanding force. Well, it's either fatigue rate or more ammunition. And I think I'm going to go with. 
I think I'm gonna go to fatigue rate. Make sure my fatigue isn't bad. Right, so at any point you're watching this and you're like, hey, this is pretty cool. Oh, I made my uh, spy move forward and I forgot about him. Um, do go ahead and leave a like and also comment. It really helps out the video to get out there and get more views and the channel overall. I, who doesn't like growth in their whatever it is they're doing? Um, a bit, a bit choppy there, bird. And all my my PC isn't the best for this game, and I've yet to upgrade my video card, but it does fine. And I mean, it's not terribly annoying, but it is a bit annoying that it maybe takes us, you know a few seconds longer. Um, but I think almost whatever PC you have, it will it will do that chuggy chugginess at one point or another when you're uh, finishing your turn. Um, just because the PC does a lot of thinking. So anyway, please do leave a like and comment uh, with your thoughts. I, we have a noble birth this time. At, at the beginning of the game we had like a lot of illegitimate births with people having kids with other people's wives. Okay, so the governor, Ejika, has finished the term of the office. So we're gonna select him and put him back into... Make him a judge. Look, I can, um... He's got 52 influence. If I make him a judge... It's gonna cost some things, but, um... He's gonna gain that influence back. And we we'll get public order and taxes. So let's hope nothing stops us from becoming a judge. And uh, is that is that army in reinforcement mode? Warriors in reinforcement range, it's not. Oh, it is. Oh boy. Okay. So the settlement is. I'm not understanding the minimum number of breaches. Five. Um, I have a bunch of labor force, so let's let's build let's build a couple of these. Um, Those guys are reinforcing. I could actually auto resolve that, that, that thing. But let's just let's build. Let's go through at least a few turns and see what happens. Um, I can just go into the battlefield. I'm, not, I'm just so confused. Okay, what does it say here? Barricades are available. Uh, turns till supply runs out. Turns until it surrenders. Solomon's strength is at 100%. Wall strength at 97. Number of minimum number of breaches. It might say that the wall is already broken. I don't. I don't freaking know. Tell you what. We'll wait the three turns just to get the medium siege tower. I, this might be a bad, a bad thing. But we'll go through the turns quick. <laughs> we'll see what happens. It looked like I just I could just attack. If I could just attack. You know what? I'm gonna try it next turn. If it just lets me attack, I'm just gonna go for it. Um The only problem is that they have that onager and it's gonna like, you know, toss some things at my face. I'm probably gonna lose more units than I want to. Uh and I'm gonna, you know, regret not auto resolving. I'll just be like, oh man, I could have auto resolved. The odds were really in my favor. What I could do is is go in and fight the battle and let the reinforcing army take all the um, the blunt of the enemy, <laughs> and just go around or something, you know, be like, hey, shoot over there at uh, my friends. They don't mind losing to my units. There's just the AI. The AI doesn't care. 
That's my thinking right now. <sighs> you know, talking for 20 minutes straight is, is pretty exhausting. Um, Thuvius, this man, hungry for power, has positioned himself to take office without your approval. He may be suited to the task, but you can afford to let his ambitions threaten your families. But can you afford to let his ambitions threaten your family's power? Um, I don't... I don't see... I could be like, you know, I'll block your promotion and, um, and then promote him myself. Isn't he already an office person? I lose some control. Uh, you know what? How much influence do I have? 110? This guy has 8 influence. Forget it. I'll just let him have it. Uh, that way, that way he's gonna get his influence up. Uh, what? Another one. The following one is climbing the greasy pole. Oh, well, <laughs> wait. Uh, when one is <laughs> climbing the greasy pole, there is but one rule. Hunt or be hunted. Your candidate has been blocked from office by your opponents. Um, we, you know what? We already lost some influence for the Thericus this turn. So we're going to get some influence lost for Ejika and appoint him anyway. There we go. Political fervor favors. Uh, it's a bad summer, it says. Uh, if that means agriculture and hus animal husbandry buildings. Um, we have some money that we could probably soon use to change something around. Not sure where. Oh. Well, now I'm sorry that the that it, that fudge. For the Lord, our Savior. Now I don't have the reinforcement army to help me. Uh, they, they got another onager. Oh, crazy. So. So my general predicts this pretty accurately uh, because there's not much of a hash or what's it called? Striped area. Sometimes you go in a fight and there's a bunch of striped area. If I was to auto-resolve... I... I don't know. Give me a second. Give me a second here. What am I, going, what am I doing? Can I do anything with my spy? No. Uh, I will go over here with my spy. We have the Huns. Just at our door. And why Why did you guys leave? Go back there. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you just go back there? Okay. That's... This will help me a lot. Um, and I could maybe trade the wine, but I'm I'm missing the the road connect connection. Yeah, this wouldn't have a road connection either because of the river. So, tell you what, let's just take over Salona. Let's see if we, uh, how much regret there will be after this. I mean, they're fairly, fairly beat up. Um, I just have to get in there and do some damage before they take me out with the onagers. That's kind of my plan. So, okay, so, I, hmm, hmm, 
I'm gonna wait till it's not raining. It's still raining. Now it's dry. Remember that the goal here is to capture the settlement, not destroy it. To achieve victory, I. Okay, buddy. We have holes in the wall. That's why it, it's why it let me attack it. Are there holes in the wall back here? No. So. So we can enter. I mean, this is this is pretty predictable. They can, they can definitely fight me off. Uh, but I want to come in this way and go up, up there. I'll probably want to take down the watchtowers. Um. These watchtowers are also intact. Alright, so we have swords. Um, those are not swords, those are spears. <laughs> Our swords are over here. Oh gosh, okay. Probably don't need to have you stay as you are. Same with yours. Um, light cav. Can probably go in. But the uh, actual skirmisher cav is going to be more useful. Somehow. Somehow. Alright, and the general here. Okay. Uh, wish me luck. The battle timer shows how much time is left before the battle ends. The attacker must rout or destroy the defender within the time limit or draw the battle. To claim victory, the defender has only to keep the attacker at bay, so can still win even if outnumbered. The enemy should know when the odds are hopeless. Yep, the odds are hopeless, but they have walls. Uh, Alright, General. Go over here and do that. Uh, we're gonna mount a warband this way. Hopefully, draw some fire. Um, you guys going there? Oh, they're gonna block. They're gonna block the way. All right, bows. Can we fire? I don't think we can fire. <laughs> no, I'm hiding my uh I wonder if I can sneak in. Okay, I think I can probably sneak in. Come over here. Oh, there we 
Another cab is coming out. Shoot over there. Um. Right. Well, that's not doing any good. So let's put you guys inside. Okay, uh, you guys have probably. Oh, can I come back out here? Yeah, eventually somebody's gonna break. <laughs> it's a lot of crap happening. Okay, you guys can take care of these guys. Okay, um, a couple of things went bad, a couple of things went good. guys are firing their stuff yeah I, I could use better I could do with better uh, performance guys uh, can you go here need to push in push 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 Right. There's a barricade. Uh, could probably do with taking over this place. Gonna send these guys. So we're gonna rally everyone eventually. We just have to push in that way. Bring our bring our dudes here. Is it gonna is it gonna take it over, or am I just gonna lose everyone? How is this gonna work? Oh. <laughs> I think the answer was a yes. Both ways. Let's watch him break down the barricade. This is not gonna work. No, you can just go over here. Yep, we lost a bunch of guys, but hey, whatever. Crossbow infantry is going to be the, the jerks. Can we get him from there?
No, just stay here, dudes. I know, I lost all my cav when I could be using it right now. Come on. Oh, you guys are through. Alright, good. I'm, they're like, I'm sorry, we don't have enough space for that. It's just gonna take a minute. Mm, um, pushing through here. Everyone's gonna go shoot. And hit those guys. And uh, in fact, we're just gonna just gonna go up here. We are capturing a victory point. Yep, we are. Come on, take it over already. Ah. All right, let's end battle. Um, yeah, like I said, that was, you know, a bit more bloody than I wanted to. I lost half my men. Um, that's, that's just because that's how it works. You, you don't, um, don't always do good in these situations. Sadly. Um, uh, I lost one mounted brigand. Blah. All right. So we're gonna uh just uh we can probably loot and, and occupy. Uh, province of stability. Blah. It's already s stupid broken. Uh, I'm just Ready for battle. Yes, I know an enemy has died. Um, it's gonna take 700 to repair. Uh, oh wow, so is it... What? That was 10,000, right? I thought it was a thousand. It's like I'm being trolled. Trade docks, trade yetis. Uh, so we, we spent the money, um... Oh, and, and, a, and a bit more because these vineyards cost 1300 to, to fix. Um, for apparently, I now have an Onager, which replaced my <laughs> mounted brigands. So, in all in all, not a big change, although I, I, that was captured in the, during the battle there. I, we saw it happen. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, somewhat of a successful journey to capture Solola. Uh, we are upset about the conversion prices. Um, although it seems like it's going down a little bit. It went down by a few hundreds. Not sure why. Not sure why. We will figure that out. Uh, has it changed anything? Has it changed? Oh, has it changed anything? So yeah, my pretty much my land isn't united there, and there's no actual road, uh, so I would have to have. Oh, the Macedonians. Macedonians revived this place. Oh, what bastards! 
Well, the AI has money for it. You know? No big deal. I'm gonna have to fight the Macedonians. <laughs> um, which isn't the smartest thing, because they're friends with the Visigoths, and I was hoping to keep the Visigoths happy with me. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but we'll have to wait until next time. Today we are calling it a day here, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, please do let me know. Leave a like, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys soon enough. Bye!